Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the English Matters, where I teach mathematics as well as English. So today I have brought question number seven from exercise 13.1. The topic is direct and inverse proportion. So quickly, we will look into the problem and the solution. So let's get started. Okay, let's read the question. It says, suppose 2 kg of sugar contains, so let's underline all the piece of information given, 2 kg of sugar contains 9 into 10 to the power 6 crystals. Okay, how many sugar crystals, that is a question, how many sugar crystals, that granules, are there in 5 kg of sugar and 1.2 kg of sugar? Okay, so here we have the piece of information. We can prepare a data based on this. So let's prepare a table. Okay, now you have got here the kilogram of sugar. So here the weight of the sugar is given. Weight. So here weight of the sugar. And accordingly number of crystals. It means the granule, the small uh, granules of sugar so number of crystals given so let's write it down so you have got 9 in the 2 kg of 2 kg of sugar you have 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 crystals okay so you have a question how many sugar crystals so this area will be there in 5 kg of sugar as well as 1.2 kg of sugar so here the weight of the sugar is given now accordingly you have to find the find the number of crystals now let's find the relation what kind of a relation you establish between the two piece of information given out here so when you increase the more the weight of the sugar more the amount of the sugar more the crystals number of crystals the sugar will be so if you increase the weight the amount of the sugar the number of crystals will also increase because you get more sugar okay so here it is in direct proportion easy so when it is in direct proportion I can easily write, so let's solve the number 1 first, okay, this one number 1 and this keep number 2, okay, let's solve number 1, so we can write 2 upon 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 will be equal to the ratio of 5 and this is the blank, let's say, just find out, let's the number of crystals out here is x let's say it is x i've assumed x so now you can solve it 2 into x is equal to 5 into 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 so x is equal to 5 into 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 upon 2 so let's cancel it 2 2 times 4 2 decimal 2 fives are 10 now if we multiply it 9 fives are 45 9 to the 18 and for 22 22 decimal 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 now I'll change it to simple fraction uh, simple decimal so what I'm going to do here x is equal to 22 decimal 5 I have to uh, shift decimal one digit before it means I have to place it before 2 so for that what I'm going to do I will multiply it by 10 and divide it by 10 so what I what is going to happen here in this case because of this it will be 2 decimal 2 5 and this will get added here 10 to the power here is 1 so if the base is same the power gets added so here nothing is in given it means 1 1 plus 6 becomes 7 so 2 decimal 2 5 into 10 to the power 7 crystals 
so if the weight of the sugar is 5 kg the number of crystals would be 2 decimal 2 5 into 10 to the power 7 okay so here you can fill it in I can easily take this information right here 2 decimal 2 5 into 10 raised to the power 7 got it easy yes so let's do the second part what I'm going to do I'll rub this off here and now I'm solving the part 2 okay okay now let's see in the second part you have been given 2 upon 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 is equal to if the amount of sugar is 1.2 kilogram you have no clue what will be the number of crystals so let in this case let the number of crystals sugar crystals right b y in this case let's find it y so you can write here 2 into y is equal to 1 decimal 2 into 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 so you can easily write y is equal to 1 decimal 2 into 9 into 10 to the power 6 upon 2 okay so if you cancel it it will become y is equal to let's cancel it 2 4 times 4.5 so 1 decimal 2 into 4.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 let's multiply 1.2 and 4.5 so 1.2 4.5 quickly multiply 5 to 10 uh, 5 and the 5 6 4 to the 8 and uh, 4 ones are 4 okay so you got 0 8 6 14 and 5 decimal will be placed before two digit because of decimal multiply it is multiplied so decimal will shift before two digits it will be five decimal four zero into ten raised to the power six okay so this will be the number of crystals so when the amount of sugar is 1.2 kilogram the number of crystals will be 5.40 into 10 raised to the power six so this is it in this particular question, I'll come back to you with a new set of questions quickly. Until then, you keep learning and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.